I'm Lubna Jem Ariel. I'm going to look at two questions. How can having a written contract benefit your business? And what steps can you take if you don't have the resources to use the lawyer? You may have heard about a gentleman's agreement where, in the beginning, everyone's probably getting on really well and is excited about working together. Why bother with a contract? Everyone's friends. Just shake on it. Well, when things go wrong, you'll find that there are no gentlemen and there's no agreement. The beauty of having a written contract is both parties have a signed record of what's been agreed. For example, most businesses aim to succeed financially, so it's good to know when and how payments will be made. A good contract will deal with most of the key terms and other issues that might crop up. Contracts don't have to be in writing. They can be made verbally. The problem is that the terms will be uncertain and the contract will probably be incomplete. Everyone who got on so well at the beginning may now disagree as to what was agreed. And this can be for all sorts of reasons, ranging from flawed memory to being intentionally underhand. Where this happens, emails or letters can be helpful as evidence of what had been agreed. At the end of the day though, where a disagreement crops up, the parties have three options. The best is for them to try and reach an amicable solution, perhaps with the help of a professional mediator. Or they can let a court decide. This route can be expensive, time-consuming and stressful, without certainty of the outcome. Or finally, one party may decide to walk away and learn for the future. It's always advisable to have a clear written record of what's been agreed. In an ideal world, of course it makes sense to have a contract professionally drawn up by a lawyer. That's not always practical or possible. Not everyone has the resources to hand. The next best thing is what I call a DIY contract, and this can be simpler than you think. It won't be perfect because there are some technical legal points that a lawyer would include. What you can do, though, is record how you've agreed to do business together. It can help to think of the contract as a project management tool. Set out each party's roles and responsibilities, who is doing what and by when, and make sure that everything that has been agreed or highlighted as a concern is recorded in writing. Brainstorm and agree this with the other side and ensure that it's signed off, even if this is by an exchange of emails. This should help you move forward smoothly and avoid any unnecessary disputes and it's a relatively simple step you can take yourself.